This video is brought to you by Dr. Phone. With Dr. Phone, you can recover any lost data within your Android device, whether it's broken, unresponsive, or water damage has occurred. Dr. Phone is there to help. You can also remove the screen lock from your device and get access to it. Check out the link in the description to find out more. Here are 10 Android N hidden features that you can try out on your Android N device. Let's get right into it. So I have the Nexus 6 running Android N version number three. So the first hidden feature on Android N is the ability to drag and drop text and images from the multi window. So I'm going to open up the Google Play Store and I'm going to open up multi window and I'm going to go into Google Slides. Here's a great example of what this does. So basically we're going to make a new presentation and let's say I want to open up an application. Let's do slither slither.io open that up. We're just going to go into read more. And from there, we're going to double tap on here. Let me just double tap to add subtitle. So there you go. And I'm just going to highlight some text. And then I just drag it and drop it into my presentation. I haven't been able to drag and drop any images currently, but that's how you drag and drop text from the multi window. Number two, alarms can now override do not disturb completely. So if you go into the settings, and you go into sound, just got to look for sound real quick. Here it is. And you go into do not disturb. And you go into automatic rules. And once you're in this page, you can configure all of these settings, basically allowing you to turn off disturb mode and allow alarms to override it during these hours of the day and what days you want to override the do not disturb mode. So alarms can override end time and that's how you set it. And yeah, that's basically it. The third Android hidden feature is the ability to quick reply in the lock screen. Just gonna open up the lock screen here. There it is. Yo, you down for lunch, bro. It's Google Hangouts and I can reply to it from the lock screen. Currently I have a lock pattern on my device so I can't really reply to that message unless I unlock my screen. But I can change that in the settings of my phone. So if I go into the notifications and I go into my settings and then I go into security, screen lock, and I change my screen lock to swipe, remove it, and then I change it back to my pattern and then I can require it to start. There you go, confirm that. And from there I disable this and I click done. Now I can actually reply to my notifications or my messages from the lock screen. So I click reply and I say, yeah, bro. And then I reply to him and that's that. So the next hidden feature has to do with your notifications, the importance of your notifications. So if you go into a notification that you received and you swipe it to the left or to the right a little, you receive this gear. You just tap on that and you get these three options. You can silent the notification, block all of the notifications from the application, or you can just not silence it or block it at all. But let's say three options isn't enough for you. You want more of a variety, that's fine. You can enable a feature called System UI Tuner by holding down on this gear button in the notifications. It will enable it in the settings and you can just tap on that. You're gonna click on Other and you're gonna click on Power Notification Controls. It tells you what each level does. You just enable that right then and there. And from there, you can just tap on the gear this time and this time you actually get selections and the, you can select the importance level at which you want the notification to be displayed at when you receive it on your phone. So I'm going to set it at four and I'm gonna click done. And yeah, that's basically it. Number five, you have the ability of changing your device's display size. So if you go into notifications, into the settings once again, and you select display, and you go down to display size, you can change the size of your screen, of what everything on the screen appears to be. So if by default it's in the second in the second point, but we can change it to be large, you can change it to be largest, or if you want it really small, maybe you want, you maybe you have a giant screen and you just want it small, that's fine too. And there you go, that's basically it. Now my screen is extremely tiny and all my applications uh, I can see more of my applications in my drawer just like that. 
Uh, maybe if I want to go into my Google Hangouts, I can see more of a variety. There you go. And you change it back to the normal size, which is number two. So number six, now you can switch between applications more easily just by double tapping the recents button. So here I am, let's say I want to go into the Google Play Store and then I go into the calculator. I can switch back to the Google Play Store by tapping the recents button twice and it will pop up with the Google Play Store, calculator, Google Play Store, calculator, Google Play Store, there you go. So the next hidden feature is the ability to block numbers in the system level. We're going to be blocking some numbers on my phone and they won't be able to contact me not only through my phone, but also through Google Hangouts or even Skype or other applications that allow people to call you and it blocks it throughout your entire phone. So this guy's trying to sell me some stuff. I want to copy his number or you can actually block his number right then and there, but I'm going to be showing you manually how to do it. We're just going to go into the settings, call blocking, add number, and then you can search up your contact or you can just paste the number and you just block it right then and there. So call blocking on the system level is also available for Android Marshmallow devices. My Nexus 6P is on Android Marshmallow, so this does work on phones that basically have the new Google Dialer update from the Google Play Store. So Android N, it works. On Android Marshmallow, it works as well, blocking numbers all the way. The next Android N hidden feature is the ability to pin apps from your share menu to the top. Uh, I'll be showing you what I mean by that. But basically, we're going to go into our share menu. There you go, there's our share menu. And we can pin whatever we want to use the most to the top. So we're going to pin, let's say Bluetooth, pin that now to the top. Uh, maybe I want to do Reddit. I want to share stuff to Reddit all the time, so I'm going to disable that. I'm gonna have to open it up all over again. And we're going to pin that to the top as well. There you go. And let's say I don't want to use that anymore. We just unpin it and it goes back to where it was before. Pretty cool stuff. And then you can just tap on it and it will obviously share it to whatever application you select. Number nine, this is actually really cool. You have a cancel button in the notification for Google Play Store downloads and the download manager. So right now, currently the Google Play Store is updating my applications. Let's say I don't want them to update it right now. You can just click cancel and it will cancel it automatically. It will can't you don't, you have to do it for every single application that it's updating currently. So cancel that, or you can just go into Google Play Store like always and just stop it right then and there. The last Android N hidden feature is the ability to download Android N onto your phone without even having to do some some coding, or you have to download ADB on your device, and you don't even have to connect your phone to your computer. You just join the Android beta program. You just go into this website. I'll have a link in the description to get it. And if you have the Nexus 6, Nexus 6P, basically any Google device this will work on. If you have another device, currently that is not an option. So you must have a Google device. These two devices currently are the ones that work. And then maybe even some tablets from Google. Devices will not be wiped unless you join the program and you decide to opt out, but why would you do that unless you want to go back to Android Marshmallow? But yeah, I'll have a sign up through the link in the description. So hope you guys enjoyed these new hidden features on Android N. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up to this video. I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Check out our social media pages, subscribe, and kapow!